All right, today I'm going to go over how we set up our store in CloudSpot. What's really cool about CloudSpot is the fact that you can have different stores and assign them to different galleries. Meaning, if you have a mini session, you can give them a completely different store than if you have a full session. So if you are one of those people who like limits digitals with your mini sessions, but you don't with your full, you can have two completely separate stores. So your full sessions um, that you give all your digitals for, you don't have to have a digital purchase because they don't need to have digital purchases. Um, but with your mini sessions, you need to have digital purpose or um, purchases in there. Also, you can change it so that way, um, if you wanted to add in, I guess, like a newborn announcement cards, because you can have cards in there. So um, you could have like a newborn gallery with newborn um, cards in there, announcement cards or um, a wedding announcement cards or anything along those lines. Um, so you can have add cards in there um, for each gallery as well. So if we're gonna come look at my store, um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna go to catalogs. And this is where you're going to create your storefront, okay? So here um, you can see that I've already added um, some in here, I'm gonna delete this one. This was my example. Okay, so these are my um, uh, storefronts. So this is my default, which is the one that um, everyone is going to go to, and unless you're a mini session. And then these are my mini sessions. So I deliver anywhere from 25 to 35 um, images in my mini sessions. And if you want to see how I set up my mini session storefronts, then I would recommend you going back and um, looking at my video where that'll be linked below um, where I talk about how I use CloudSpot to sell my mini sessions. But today we're just going to go ahead and create a catalog and I'm going to show you how we're going to create a storefront. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a catalog and this is um, where you're going to put um, your catalog name and everything. So we're going to go ahead and name it um, full session or maybe yeah full session. And then um, you choose the print lab that you want. So you can do like White House, Miller's, whatever you want, okay? You can also choose um, what you would like if you wanna have premium packaging, um, or we can do color correction, that's up to you. Um, minimum order amount, if that's something that you would like, like you know, you have to order at least $50, go for it, I do not do that. Um, you can change it to make um, this your default galleries or apply to all galleries with sales. Um, you don't have to do either one of these. Um, I don't just because I like to assign which gallery to um, or which storefront to each gallery. So then approve orders before fulfillment. I always do this for two days just so I can double check and make sure cropping is correct and everything. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and create. So from here, um, we can kind of decide what we want in our storefront, okay? So um, if I decide that, you know what, I really don't want to offer um, metal prints, okay? So what we can do is we can go to metal prints, and then we can say remove from catalog, all right? And so now it's kind of like, I guess like a faded out. So that's not offered in this anymore. If I want to add it back, we're just going to go to edit, add to catalog. Perfect. And so we'll Google back. Um, same thing with all these cards. So they have holiday cards, wedding day cards. So you can do save the date or thank you cards, um, baby announcement, graduation announcements. If I wanted to add one of these in there, let's go ahead and say I wanted to add a holiday cards. We can add that to catalog. And then we can also come down here and change the markup. So um, you can change the markup to whatever you would like. Uh, we can do like 150, so if it would do bulk and it would apply to all of them, okay? So this would be your, your price. This is how much money you would be making off each one of these, okay? So if you, when you're figuring out your, um, your store for every single bit of cloud spot. Um, so we can change up all of the pricing on even the prints and everything. Um, this is the markup and it'll apply to all of it and you can see like how much you'll make on each one of these, okay? So we're gonna go save, we're gonna go back and you can do the same thing with prints. So we can do a bulk markup 
and this is going to apply this markup for every single um, product in your shop, okay? So you can do anywhere from, I mean, I wouldn't recommend 30%, but um, anywhere from 150% to 300, like whatever you would like. And then if you wanna see what it looks like, we can just expand it and you can see. So for this, the lab cost is 95 cents. I'm charging $3. Um, we are rounding up to the nearest zero, or you can say no rounding. So if I say no rounding, then I'll go there. But if I want to mark it up to the end, um, round to the nearest zero, if you notice the price was 380 and it's rounding up to $4. Okay. Um, and then you can also, let's go ahead and go in here to canvases and say we have a bulk markup of the 300. And again, that applies to your entire store. All right. Um, but let's say that like I wanted to come in here and change like the price of this one thing. And I wanted to like put this one thing like on sale for 200 instead. I can do that. Okay. Um, so that's up to you with that. And I don't want to save it. All right, perfect. So that's what that would look like for you. Um, and then you're going to come down here to taxes and you are going to put in your location and it'll automatically um, do sales tax if that is something that is required in your um, state or country. Um, and then discount codes here, you can add in all discount codes, whatever you guys you want to do. Um, when we do add a discount code, we're just going to say the name of it. So discount, uh, or we'll just say example. And then this is going to be the code. So we'll say example, and then you can either change it to dollar amount or percentage. And um, we can say like you get 20% off or whatever, let's say 20% off. That to subtotal shipping or digital sales only. So if you're someone who's like, you know what, I only want them to get 20% off their digital sales, then you could do that. You could do 20% um, off their shipping, or you could just do the subtotal, okay? And then you can say, this is not applicable to digital products, um, whatever you want. Include free economy shipping, so you can include free shipping for them. Um, this is where you're going to do an expiration date, if that's something that you want um, to have on your discount. And then minimum order, if you're like, you know what, they get the 20% off only on orders of $100 or more, okay? And then max uses, um, make sure you would want to do one time because if not, then they can use it multiple times. Um, or if it's something that you're like, you know what, yeah, they can use it multiple times for the whole week or whatever. They can use that 20% off code as much as they want on their gallery. Um, then don't put anything in there. But if you're like, nope, they can only use it one time, do the one, okay? And then we're gonna save um, payment options. Um, go ahead and link it to a Stripe account. If you do not already have a Stripe account, it's super easy um, to do. You just go to Stripe and you create an account and then you can link it here, okay? And then here we have our store branding. This is what it's gonna look like at the top of your store. So when people go to your gallery and they go to your store, this is what it's gonna look like for them, okay? And um, you can, change it up. So this is the header image for a desktop. You can either remove the image or you can upload an image of your own if you would like. What's really cool is where it says gallery image is um, it'll put an image from your gallery in there. And then you can do your um, logo. So my logo looks like that. And then the text caption, it says print shop. You can make it whatever you would like right there. And then you can do your color option, okay? So what's cool is the fact that you can literally put in whatever um, your brand color is here as well. So super easy to set up your store. Um, I hope this helps with setting up your storefront.